Welcome to this short video on Nutanix ERA. So Nutanix first made data center infrastructure invisible with enterprise cloud built on hyper-converged infrastructure. Today, with Nutanix ERA, Nutanix starts a revolution in provisioning and managing databases. Provisioning each database server requires some considerations such as configuring compute as a single VM or deploying multiple VMs in a cluster. Provisioning storage often requires multiple disk groups to handle different kinds of database data, such as data files, online logs, and log files. Once the database administrator has identified the compute and storage needs, he can go ahead and install the database engine of his choice. Now, obviously, you understand that a lot of these tasks are often manual and very time consuming, and it's exactly this that ERA would like to solve. So helping our database administrators in provisioning, but not only that, also in cloning, refreshing of data and restoring databases to a point in time to go to a specific transaction. So during this demonstration, I will show you how easy it has become to deploy a new database server and deploying a new database under error management. So let's get started. So this is the error dashboard. Let's go to databases. We will deploy a new source database. We hit the provision button. You see all database engines under error management. Deploy a SQL Server database. Let's deploy a SQL development instance, for example, as our name. We pick a software profile. I might have multiple. Let's go for the vanilla one. Let's say update. Tick the compute profile. So how many vCPUs and memory I would like to assign to my VM the networking profile. Our admin passwords and some database specific parameters. The database name that we will make use of. And last step that we need to make use of is our time machine option. So imagine this as a way to go back in time to a specific transaction if something would go wrong. And last step, we say provision. And now ERA has enough information to do all things necessary in automating the deployment of this database server, creating the VM, creating the database, but all following Nutanix best practices from a data point of view. We can follow the whole operation at the top right corner in the operation screen. So the creation of our new database server has been completed and we can take a look. Let's go to databases, sources, and we have our demo database. And as you can see, all details of our new database and the associated database server, SQL underscore development, has been available within the ERA UI. Thank you very much and see you next time.